Today I'm gonna share four go-to dinners for those nights that are a bit cray-cray, but you wanna save money and not eat out. Sound like something you need? Keep watching. Hey there, my name is Kathy and I help people use their air fryer. Now, if you're new here, you might not know that I'm a mom of eight kids. I've been married for like 27 years and I've been a self-employed business owner since 2008. And fun fact about me, I've never really been a fan of making dinner. But one secret I learned years ago is to have a go-to list of meals you can make for those times where dinner just doesn't look like it's gonna work out. These are quick and simple to make. They could be made for just one person or made for the entire family. Hold tight. I'm finishing the editing on this video and I wanted you to know that my cookbook is all ready. You can get the physical version of the book or digital. Find it at yummyairfryerrecipes.com. This book is jam packed with about 170 recipes in it. 150 of them have pictures. So if you're looking for air fryer recipe inspiration, you'll find it at yummyairfryerrecipes.com. Okay, okay, I was too excited. Back to the show. Yay! Are you ready to see these go-to meal ideas? Let's go. Soup and sandwiches are a super easy dinner idea. And if you use my little secret, it'll be protein packed as well. Okay, now stay with me on the soup. All you need is your favorite tomato soup. I personally love this brand. It's in a container that I can just pour out what I need, put the rest in the fridge, and then I enhance it with some quinoa. Quinoa really doesn't add a ton of extra flavor, but it does add some health benefits. It has a lot of those essential amino acids that you need. So I just stir some in and I let it cook as my soup heats through. It's just a great way to add bulk to the soup. I just like to buy quinoa that is pre-washed. And for the grilled cheese, you could just lightly spray your basket or you could butter your bread. And I can totally fit four sandwiches in my 5.8 kasori. But for now, since it's just me, I'm gonna do one sandwich, throw some cheese on there. And then again, you could butter this side or just mist it with the oil. Then I just cook these babies at 350 usually about six minutes and I'll flip them about halfway. And once this is heated, I turn it down to low and just cover and let it simmer. Ah! It fell off, that's okay, that's okay. After three minutes, flip it and then I'll just spray that other side. And you know what? If something's flying around, we just put a rack over it and let it finish up. Okay, and if you want it more toasted, you can totally do that. You will know your soup is done when that quinoa has kind of opened up a little bit. It usually takes about 15 minutes. If you haven't had grilled cheese in an air fryer, you are missing out. That crunch is amazing. This roasted chicken sausage and veggie mix is super easy to throw together. For the protein, we're gonna use this yummy chicken apple sausage. Then just chop it up into bite-sized pieces Then drop those in a mixing bowl. Then you're gonna add a one pound of cubed sweet potatoes and a pound of Brussels sprouts that you wash and cut in half. Drop all that in. Then I'm just gonna stir in a couple tablespoons of avocado oil. Just stir it up so everything gets nice and coated. Then you need one lemon, and after you wash it, just add some zest. Then add in a teaspoon of kosher salt. I really love using Redmond Real Salt, by the way. And you'll need four garlic cloves, or I'm just using the jarred stuff today, so that's gonna be two teaspoons. And add in a tablespoon of fresh parsley. You could also go with dried parsley if you want. And lastly, a half teaspoon of pepper. Just stir it to mix up all of those spices and seasonings. Then just dump that in your air fryer, spread it out, pop it in, set your temperature to 370, and you're gonna run it for 15 to 20 minutes. I'm gonna run 20 and hit that shake reminder. Okay, there's my shake reminder. Oh, it's looking so beautiful and it smells good. So just give that a stir. And at this point, you can just see how cooked those potatoes are. Definitely do need more time. So I'm just gonna let it finish up with the last 10 minutes. And ta-da, check out that all-in-one dinner. And for the final touch, sprinkle with some pomegranate seeds, chicken sausage, and veggies. Ready? Do you see there's a little pomegranate in here? Those potatoes cooked perfectly. Oh, potatoes. Sweet potatoes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> do you like the Brussels sprouts? Mm-hmm. Five stars for me. Just three. I don't really like the sausage. Mm. I love the sausage. All right, that one's a winner. These are my go-to pork chops with a brown sugar rub. For pork chops, I think it's cheaper to just buy a big pork loin. And I'm gonna just slice these just about an inch thick, which will be two finger widths. 
You can definitely go thinner if you want to. Just keep in mind it will change the cook time. Now for the rub. Two tablespoons of brown sugar, one tablespoon of paprika, two teaspoons of kosher salt, one and a half teaspoons of black pepper, one teaspoon of ground mustard, half teaspoon of garlic powder, and a half teaspoon of onion powder. Then whisk that all up. Go ahead and pat your pork chops dry. And then I like to spray them with oil right now before I add the rub. Then just sprinkle on that delicious rub, massage it in. This rub mixture will make plenty. So if you have extra pork chops, you can season up all of those too and just pop them in a freezer bag and just freeze them for another night. Okay, I did preheat this air fryer. Since my pork chops already have oil, I really don't need to spray the basket. And yes, it looks like I can squeeze five of them in here. So we'll pop that in. We're gonna crank it up to 400 and run it for 10 minutes. Oh, and I am gonna hit my shake reminder to remind me to flip those. All right, let's check these. All right, I lost footage of me flipping them, but I did flip them. And I usually like to just peek in on the temp and see how things are going. So 109, we wanna get to 145. I list out all of the internal temperatures for baked goods and meats and everything in this free download. I will link to that down in the video description box below. So with just four minutes left, I think we're gonna be good on that time. All right, time is up. Woo! We'll do a quick check on the temp and yep, I probably could have just cooked these for like eight minutes. Pork chops. Mm. She likes it. She's taking all of it. This one's a keeper. I've made this one a lot. It's so good. I love all of it. Just why I gave it a four is because it's a little mm -hmm. spicy. It's a little spicy. What? It's probably the black pepper in there. We left the cayenne pepper out, so. Good, that's a winner, winner, winner. You're gonna love how fast these BLT chicken burritos are to throw together. Okay, for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and preheat the air fryer to 380. I'm gonna show you what to do for like one or two people only. I've got some little thought out chicken tenders and I'm just placing them right in half of the air fryer. And I'm gonna throw in a couple slices of bacon. I'm gonna place those right next to each other. And then I'm gonna just season it with this yummy organic garlic pepper from Redmond Real Salt. You could just use salt and pepper if you want. And then I'm just going to lightly mix that chicken here. Then I'm gonna just cook this at 380 and I'm gonna start with 10 minutes. Now, if you're cooking this for like a larger family, you could just cook the bacon first, same temperature, same time. Then you'll pull that out and let it cool while you cook up your chicken. Now we're gonna make a yummy dipping sauce. You need about two thirds cup of sour cream, which is also apparently about 130 grams. And then two tablespoons of your favorite barbecue sauce. I'm just eyeballing. And wow, that looks like ice cream with hot fudge, right? Well, I forgot to hit record, but I added a half teaspoon chili powder and another half teaspoon of cumin and I did a little splash with salt and pepper and I'm just gonna stir this up to make an amazing sauce for these burritos. Okay, I forgot to turn that shake reminder on, but here we go. That bacon's been going for five minutes and pretty nice and crispy for me. So I'm gonna pull the bacon out. I'll just let that sit on a paper towel and I'll just take a quick reading on that chicken. It is almost done. I'm just gonna quickly flip these and I think I'll season them on the other side and that will finish up cooking, but I don't wanna go that full three minutes, so look, I can just change the time right here while it's running. Chicken is done. So I'll let that rest for just a minute. And if you like your tortillas warm, just get a little paper towel, wipe out your pan if it's dirty. I'm gonna pop those right in, set my rack on top. I'm gonna run it at 350 for two minutes. And now those tortillas, they are nice and warm. And while that was cooking, I just prepped some veggies here. Now I'm just gonna spread some of that delicious sauce on top. Add a chicken tender, a little bacon slice, some lettuce, avocado, tomatoes. So the cool thing about these is like, this one doesn't want tomatoes, so you don't have to add tomatoes, right? And these are fajita sized tortillas and it'd probably be better to do like the regular taco size. Ready? Have a bite and tell me how much you love it. Cute. This one's gotta be my favorite because it's so easy to make. I was able to actually put in like three slices of bacon and three or four of the chicken tenders when I did another batch. So if you're feeding people like teenage boys that wanna eat some, they could have one while you have another batch cooking. So easy to pull this one off. Do you love it? Yeah, 10. 10 out of five, all right. All right, what do you say, sissy? I would say 
It's kind of a hard choice. Did you love it or did you like it? I kind of like it. You like it. So three or four? Yeah. Three or four? Let's go with a four. Should we go with a four? Yeah. Four all the way. Enjoy this one. Mm. And don't forget to snag a copy of the book at yummyairfryrecipes.com. And I think you'll find these recipes right here helpful. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.